Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching our video on our channel The Refuge of David Mission Asia. Today we are going to discuss the National Action Plan of Pakistan. When this law or the action plan was introduced to the people of Pakistan and why they created National Action Plan and what was its point and was these points were followed by the national uh, intelligence agencies, paramilitary forces, army or the government of Pakistan. Well, dear friends, National Action Plan was established after the deadly attack in Peshawar school in 2014 and this law and this action was the retaliation of the terror attack in the school where hundreds of kids give their life, give the sacrifice for their generation's future, bright future. But whom are the responsible of these attacks? Whom are behind the curtain? What they want after these all deadliest attacks? What is the reason of Koita attacks? Two attacks in two days and deadliest attack and they attack on the lawyer firms and they destroy the more than 75 families and number of deadliest injured. Well, my dear friends, first of all, I would like to read the plan points. Here is a 20 point with me that which was established and introduced with the collaboration of uh, parties, those parties who represent the National Assembly of Pakistan, some of them are in the House or some of them are uh, in the opposition. But let me tell you their names, establishment of the plan. Pakistan Tariq -e Insaf, Jamiyatul Ulma -e Islam, Fazlur Rahman group, this group is a totally Islamic group and they want Sharia law somehow. Um, their acts and their, you know, action itself speak. Then here come uh, Jamiyat al-Islami, National Awami Party, Pakistan People's Party. After this attack, all these parties, they gather and they voted. And in the, to amendment in the constitution of Pakistan. Constitution of Pakistan has number of time changed according to their political leaders' wills. Those party who, who sit in the house and they said um, they did the amendment according to their own wishes, according to their own desire. Whatever they want to change to hide their bad deeds, their crimes, what they are doing, they just voted in the constitution, against the constitution, and then they amend. Well, the constitution of Pakistan has totally destroyed its face, has totally changed. You cannot recognize its face. You know, amendment number 18, amend num amendment number uh, 19, amendment number 20, 21, all these uh, amendments changing the rapidly the face of constitution of Pakistan. Why they are changing? Because the political parties and the parties, those whom are secular parties, so-called secular parties, they funded and they, uh, you know, give the thousands of billions of dollars and sources to work for these parties, while these are religion or while they are secular. They use these parties for their 
own benefits to divert their uh, the people's attention towards something else because all these parties are they are criminal they have done a lot of blunders to the Pakistani nation to the minorities to the Christians and uh, all these secular and religious parties they are responsible for the discrimination and the persecution on the high level in the Pakistan well whenever they want to amend something in the Constitution they just gather together and uh, vote for amendment it's very easy to amend in the Constitution of Pakistan and the face of Constitution is destroyed you cannot remember their clause what they are adding every day to hide their own crimes their own black deeds because they use Taliban and the extremists and the criminals for their own benefits if they allow to the agencies uh, the police to take an action against these Taliban and the uh, proscribed organization those whom are working for for the government present government and the previous governments they can't allow them to take an action these all are points for the Western world to show them that we are active against these Taliban these uh, proscribed organization that's totally lie of a white lie my dear friends let me read it the action plan 20 points for you first one after the Peshawar incident government decided to proceed with the execution of extremists convicted in terror related cases the government has already started implementation this is my on their first point my first question to the government of Pakistan did they apply implementation on the previous attacks the colonies were vandalized Christian houses were burned churches were vandalized they arson our churches they arson our houses thousands of blasphemy fake cases were registered no special court headed by the officers of the armed forces will be established for the speedy trial of of the terrorists these court will be established for for a term of two years did anything happen no if they done something they must show to the publicly not to me they must come and they show that this is the formation what we done formation of arm uh, milita will be allowed in a country now national counterterrorism authorities will be review and made effective now there will be a crackdown on the hate speeches and action will be taken against newspaper magazine contribution to be spread of such speech my dear friends did they take an action against these no financial source of terrorists and the terror organization will be cut now stop it here for a second all these religious and secular parties they are funding these organization does the government of Pakistan military take any action against them no if you rejected by this argument then you must come 
and reply me. You can come openly and speech, speech with me, open dialogue on this. Band outfit will not be allowed to operate under different names. What Hafez Said is doing, his organization is the band organization by the United Nation. United Nation declared that Hafez Said is the leader of the Taliban, he is the leader of criminals, he is the, the leader of big band outfit. He is openly, he is working there. What the present government did with him and what the pres uh, previous government did with him, nothing happened. Even though he have security from the government. Special anti-terrorism force will be raised. No. Measures will be taken to stop religious extremists and to protect minorities. Thousands of in incidents happened to the religious minorities. Christians are slaughtered, their houses, their colonies, their churches are attacked, their daughters been kidnapped, raped forcibly converted to Islam, they are forcibly flee to other countries. Did the government take any action? If they take any action, reply me. This is my open challenge to the present government and the so-called ministers, minorities representative. If you take any action, then come, ag come against me and then reply me. Madrasa will be regularized and reformed. Thousands of madrasas, the uh, Taliban outfits, are in Pakistan. Those whom are training, giving training to the innocent child and making them the suicide bomber to destroy the peace of country, the, destroy the peace of nations. What action the present government take against these madrasas? They are openly doing everything, whatever they want. Nobody asks them to stop this because there is no legislation. Print and electronic media will not be allowed to give an space to terrorists. Does it mean that print and electronic media, they are providing them airtime? They are promoting their agendas? This meant they are providing. Keeping the rehabilitation of IDPs as the top most priority, administrative and development reform in FATA will be expedited. All these IDPs, they are destroying the peace of Pakistan in very short amount, in very little amount, they are doing extremism, they are promoting terrorism. These IDPs are involved in kidnappings of the kid, kids in Pakistan. You cannot recognize them because they do not have identity card of national ID card in the Pakistan. Communication system of terrorist organization will be destroyed. Does this communication has destroyed by the government of Pakistan? No, still they are working. They are active in all across the Pakistan. 
Social media and internet will not be allowed to be used by terrorists to spread propaganda and hate speech, though exact process for that will be finished, finalized. They are doing, they are putting their videos, propaganda videos for the recruitment, for their outfits. Like the rest of country, no space will be given to the extremists in any part of Punjab. Well, Punjab is the nursery of uh, Taliban and the extremists. How could you say that uh, uh, no space will be given to them? You are providing them everything, everything with the help of government. You are promoting the terrorism, the present government. Mr. Nawaz Sharif, the PM of Pakistan, he is the head of all these terrorist outfits. When he wants to divert people's attention from these deadliest, uh, you know, his crime, he donated or he funded to the terrorist organization to, you know, to attack on national monuments or publicly or anywhere in the Pakistan to divert the attention. Operation against terrorists in Karachi will be taken to its logical conclusion. All the Taliban's they are sitting, they are operating their organization in Karachi like MQM, the target killing, everything has happened. Who come against them? Because they use for the present government, they use all these terrorists for their own benefits. They can't ban all, all these uh, outlets. Whenever you ask them to op operation the national attack and action against these uh, Taliban's, they denied. In the interest of political reconciliation, Balochistan government will be given complete authority by all stakeholder. That means until today you haven't give any authority to the police and uh, your agencies to work against these outfits. Even though in in the Punjab uh, in Balochistan there is zone A zone B zone. A zone is under the government and B zone is under the Sardars, those who run the Balochistan. They have their own law, their own military, their own people who run the country of uh, Balochistan. That's why they not accept the Pakistan. They said that we are separated state because of thousands of reasons. Here come eliminate spreading sectarian violence will be prosecuted. Comprehensive policy will be formed for the registration of Afghan refugees to give provincial intelligence agencies access to communication of the terrorists and to be strengthened anti-terror agencies through basic reform in the criminal justice system. Constitutional amendments and the legislation will be carried out for this purpose. My dear friends, this is all the failure of present government. If you want that the people of Pakistan live peacefully, then you have to be active. You have to show, show your hatred for Taliban. If you say that this hand you are funding them and this hand you publicly say that we are against them, stop this double standard. This is all your white lie 
which is front of all the world and you are just trying to show the western world that you are taking an action against this, these. Why you not take an action before any bad incident happen in future with the people of Pakistan? I must say that the Pakistani people have very short memory. If something happened today and tomorrow they will forget that. Delay in the national action plan is the failure of agencies and the government of Pakistan because they, they have good relation with them. They use all these outfits for their own benefits. And uh, the bias attitude towards minority, it's clearly front of you and I. My dear friends, may the God of Israel protect minorities and the people of Pakistan from these all fanatics. God bless you.